Moon Studios. Different from Moon Eye Studios, maybe. I don't know, actually. Okay, everyone. Welcome to Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Honestly, whenever a game looks gorgeous, I just have to play it. This game came out a while back, and at the time I didn't have the rig to run it, but now I do. So, yeah, I'm absolutely stoked to get started. I haven't seen any Let's Plays of this. I haven't seen... All I've really seen is the trailer. I haven't even seen gameplay footage. So I'm going into this with absolutely fresh eyes, and I couldn't be more excited. So let's press enter, and get this show on the road. Oh god damn it! I knew it'd be there'd be this freaking choice here. The way it was meant to be played, or to challenge myself. Ah, uh, you know what? We're doing it. I'm a gamer. I can do this, man. Fuck off. Duck and left, right. That is so smooth. Holy crap. There's a double jump or something. I don't know if that's kind of an upgrade or something. Look up. Duck down. This is actually... As a platformer, it's kind of reminding me of, uh, what was that one other game called? Where it's the kid in the forest and he's just a black, uh, silhouette. I'm sure the name will come to me later, but let's get this show going. That's so cute, he has a buddy. So how does this work? So I hit left and just jump? Okay, cool. Cool. You can climb walls like that. I think it's just WASD and the keyboard for the most part. I don't think I need my mouse. That everything went to shit. I had a feeling I could be in there. Renovating the house. Best friends for life. Oh my god, it's so adorable, dude. They have dream catchers and stuff too. Up top. Where are you taking him? Can't move yet. There we go. He took him... He or she took a moment to get up there. Are there collectibles to the left here? Feels like one of those games, but I guess not. Oh, 
Uh, I guess I can't go into the background, so we gotta go to the right. Oh, she's gotta fly. She flew for a little bit. That's good. seasons. That's good. These story-driven platformers are just so good. It's been so long since I've played one. Quite sad. I think it's spacebar to move on. And when that stuff happens. But you can like, that's cool, you can like stay in that little moment for as long as you want. If you need to go do something, you can come back. And then you hit spacebar to resume. At least that's what it seems like for now. Wait, this is awkward. What just revealed to me on the right? Left? Not right. Oh, I could just go in. Yep. Okay, finally made it. It just took skill.
Well, airborne holds shift to glide freely or ride wind currents. Awesome. So that means... Can I walk over this? Yeah, okay, so that means... We have a parachute now. Just like Battlefield. <laughs> nice. Perfect. I don't think one feather will fix it though. But you guys can dream. <laughs> DNA? Don't tell me this is actually going to work. No way, dude. Alright, well now we're partnered. Take it easy, man. Take it easy, girl. Oh, it's beautiful. Is this where the storm hits? Not yet, I guess. There's the storm. See, that that's all I saw from the trailer, is just the storm. That's all I know. I guess they entered an area where they weren't supposed to be. I don't know if her wings can handle turbulence. Separated by the storm, our story began. I'm getting like 200 to 500 frames, so this is really well optimized. Holy crap.
Inkwater Marsh. So I don't know if, like, Ori is supposed to be some kind of warrior, or just some kind of creature. I don't know who Ori is. I feel like the game wants me to go right, so I'm gonna go left first and see what happens. Oh, it's a right-click type of ability. Do I hold it? It's auto-saving, that's cool. Maybe let's not mess with that for now. I don't know. I know my mouse is here now, so that's cool. R? Collect these to restore Ori's life. Okay. Alright, so life points are on the right. Probably energy points on the left? What are these? Traded to friendly creatures for various items and upgrades. Okay. So there's more than movement to this game. Oh, scheisse! What's this up here? I don't think I can quite reach that yet. There we go. There are tutorials. Hold S and press space to fall through platforms. Ah, okay. And then to get back up, we just do that. What does that say? It's in a language I don't speak. to reach that quite yet. I don't know if those disappear over time either. That's another thing to consider. Grab a torch. That's so cute. Okay, so... Now I can actually attack with this thing. We have an attack, boys. I fear no creature. Insert a keystone. Do I even have one? I don't have one. Okay. We gotta find one maybe down here. 
So now the torch can burn that thing. But what's this? A puzzle. I think that's stone. So it's not gonna break. Dude, Ori is a badass. I'm worried about that. Yep. That took away two life, goddamn. So did I get one? Huh. Can I not find life orbs somewhere else? I'm actually 1 HP. That gave a life orb, which is nice. I think one is good enough for now. Oh. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, I'm dead. First death, you just dissipate. That's all it means. Ayotangero. Ayotangero. Maybe killing them would have given me a life stone. Oh shit, I didn't think about that. Oh, damn it. No worries, instant respawns are instant. Can I be on- can I exist directly on top of this thing? Yeet! Okay. I don't think I was gonna make that. Okay, maybe I was gonna make it.
He's looking over the edge, that's awesome. God damn it. How am I supposed to make that? Just notice there's a life orb down here. Give me one second. Right when I don't need I could burn down the whole forest. You understand. Oh, it's a spawn point. That's interesting. Maybe it's just the last save, you know? I just realized there have to be speedruns of this game already. 100%. Okay, finally made it. It's just skill, that's there's no secret. Skip you. Ooh, from the back foreground. Back, back, I say. I'm dead. How is this supposed to work? I can't even see. Just had to be aggressive. get back up to that life orb though, can I? Now we don't have an attack. Oh, there's moss right up there.
There's a keystone. And there's your mini map. I wonder how big this shit is. 8%. Is there one down here? Yeah. Awesome. Talk this way. Whatever it is you're doing, good luck. Thank you, my dude. They created little cutscenes for every little thing, that's awesome. This game is just so good. I think this is a place to backtrack to. If if this wall that I can't break right now is anything to go by. I guess I just gotta wait. Oh. That's not ominous. short period. That one gave two. Very nice. I thought you were coming much later, fam. Shit. Run forest run. How do you only do like less than half HP? I'm dead. How am I supposed to fight this? to hang out back here. Oh. Okay, 
as soon as he comes, I have to hit him. Interesting, I'm not meant to kill him yet. See, that's what I like. Patience and you solve a puzzle a little bit. I don't know what to do right now. I can't go up this way, it seems. Not yet. What if I went back this way? This wolf burnt everything, dude. Holy shit. Ooh, what is this? Nothing? Okay. I'm just meant to ignore that. That's, I'll do that. That's alright. Howl's Den, that's what the guy's name is. Does he have a moving castle as well? I'm supposed to go down into his den. That's so counterintuitive. But necessary, I guess. We need two more of these keystones to find. I'll drop down there in a sec. This wolf has killed a lot of shit. Just get a new power. I was knocked unconscious. That's what happened. I got knocked unconscious. I technically died like 10 times over already, so... I don't know. Let's go with E. Oh, it's a sword, dude. Let's go. Can I cut 
cut through shit? Okay, not that yet. Wall jumps. Oh, I think it takes up a certain amount of energy when you hit stuff with it. Great. The only way I lived through that was I killed it instantly. And we're full on HP. Let's go. And we're back up here. Guardian of the Marsh, Quillock will help you find your way. Thanks guys, appreciate it.
God damn it. He's one HP, man. Let's just skip that guy. This game does not mess around. You just really got another range of your weapons. Basically a save point in Metroid. There's one. I can't drop to it. Get up to that lever somehow. I guess this is the way. Aha! Uh -huh. There's your puzzle. Oh shit. Alright, I need this to jump up. There. Not a good place to be. Boss battle. Damn it. This game will throw curveballs. This 
These green things are annoying, dude. Gotta jump over him, I think. Right, another tree. Double jump, let's go! Space jump boots from Metroid, dude. I had a feeling that might be in this game, but I didn't. I wasn't sure. Now how do I use it to get back? It's kind of just jump farther, is all it does. Hmm. You can keep going up this way. Sticks to walls. Get that in there. Perfect. That's actually really, really helpful. Yes, that was the trick. Hell yes. I'm glad I went to that tree first. Idiot. To be fair, he killed me first, so... So, I think that can help me out over here. Yeah, just to get back. That's it. I can't fall down. <laughs> and that... Is how we get to this thing. Somehow. the restoration pool. <coughs> does it always save the game? It does. That's cool. It's literally a save point. Like in Metroid. 
I don't know if Metroid like pioneered that idea or what, but I'm really glad it's in video games, you know? Imagine this game without saves. Yeah, let me take care of this guy. I don't have to worry about him anymore. It's gonna block the laser. I can't do it now when it's here, but yeah, we got one of them boys. Mobility is so much easier now, holy crap. I thought it was going to be like that for the whole game. Now what? Get the lifeguard. That's what. Save the game real quick. Just get that bookmarked. 